Not since the Mexican Revolution of a century ago has this country seen so many troops out in public. Nearly 50,000 soldiers and Marines are now deployed in regions where drug violence is raging, from Mexico's deep south to its northern border with the United States. In many locations, soldiers now oversee the local police in the fight against organized crime. In western Sinaloa state, this army colonel says his soldiers have arrested many drug criminals and seized hundreds of their weapons, including high-powered machine guns, grenades and assault rifles. The army has the discipline, training and capacity, and for that reason I think our role is protagonistic. All military institutions have a mission to complete, and we as an army try to do it in strict observation of principles of liberty, justice and human rights. Mexico's armed forces have taken a stronger role than ever before in fighting organized crime here. But the decision has been highly controversial, and there are some who say the military should not have this role. As the army's policing role increases, so too have reports of human rights violations. The National Human Rights Commission says in 2009, reports of violations allegedly committed by the army soared to more than 1,800. That's a more than 800% rise since Felipe Calderón took office in 2006. <laughs> President Calderón recently sent a proposal to Congress to reform Mexico's military code of justice. But this critic says it fails to address key problems, including extrajudicial executions of civilians. She says recent comments by U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton likening drug traffickers to insurgents could lead to more abuses. When you have Secretary of State Clinton talking about the drug war as if it were an insurgency, you're immediately opening the door to a new phase of militarization that presents even more threats to civil society. Despite these criticisms, Mexican soldiers are still delivering the biggest blows against drug traffickers. And that's led Congress to once again boost next year's military budget. Frank Contreras, Al Jazeera, Culiacán, Mexico.